I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars for June Libra. Now, in your personal life, last month, the Uranus and Pluto square, which affected everybody, but more so all the cardinal signs of which you're one of, um, occurred in your fourth house and your seventh house. Now the fourth house is all to do with your home, family, seventh house to do with relationships and partnerships and love. So, um, so no more. If you had like some shakeups around family and relationships last, last month, then, you know, uh, that's the astro reason why anyway. So, uh, you know, but any change can it just help you review what's going on and heal any situations that need to be healed because as a Libra you don't like confrontation as a rule and so you know sometimes when it's a forced change it, it forces you to deal with situations so this month you can start to um, just look at some of those outstanding issues if you if you you know didn't get them totally um, signed, sealed and delivered and put away, you know, the last month. So on the 23rd, there's a full moon in your fourth house. So that will help just to bring up anything that, as I said, did not get totally, um, uh, totally sort of looked at, that you weren't happy with the outcome, I guess, I guess is what I'm trying to say there. You've got another opportunity coming up to, to do that. So that's the good news. On the 28th, Venus is going to move into your 11th house. So this is all to do with friends. It's a very good time to mix with friends and you can actually find, if you're looking for love, then you can actually find um, love and relationships through connections, through close friends. So get out there and mix and mingle. Not that that's difficult for you to do, Libra. Now your professional life, in your 10th house there's Mercury, the communication planet, love goddess, Venus um, on the 3rd and the Sun will move in on the 21st. Plus Jupiter is going to move into this area of your chart on the 26th for a one year transit. Now Jupiter is the planet of abundance and expansion, it's called the lucky planet. So it's a really great time for you coming up for business and um, opportunities around your career. So you want to watch out for opportunities and be proactive about it and go out for them. You don't want them to just pass you by. Okay, so my angel advice for you for the month is there's a new moon on the 8th in your ninth house. This can signify new business and, and affairs and different proceedings that are, g are going on in faraway places. So if you're doing some business on an international or foreign level, then it's a very, very good um, very you know good energy for that also great to learn a new school or to do any study as well out your lucky numbers for the month are 3 21 8 and 26 and there's space left there for you to put your own numbers in i'm jennifer angel thanks for watching bye for now